In this video, I'm going to show you how to add push notification in your Flutter Flow app. Okay, so we are going to use this web view app that we have right there where we converted um, our website to Android and iOS app. So we are going to be learning how to add push notification in this our app. Okay, so just by the left sidebar of our Flutter Flow um, dashboard, we are going to scroll down like this, and then we are going to click on this gear icon. All right, so I'm going to click on Firebase. So for we to add our push notification in our app, we are going to be using Firebase to do that. All right, so for we to do that, we would need our Firebase project ID. Okay, so for now, we don't have that project, sorry, that project ID, the Firebase project ID. So we would need to create one. All right, so we are going to head straight to um, firebase.google.com. All right, so yeah, if you don't have an account, you can register and then log in. But if you have an account already, and then you can just go ahead and log in. All right, so um, I'm logged in already. So I'm going to click on go to console. All right, so now we have your Firebase project. Okay, so here I'm going to click on Add Project. So for you, if you haven't created any um, project um, in Firebase before, you are not going to have this um, list like this. Okay, so you can just have something blank with this Add Project. So just click on Add Project. All right, so here we are going to specify our project name. So I'm going to enter the demo test app that we just um, that we want to use for this um, demo um, video. Okay, so I'm going to enter it, uh, which I've done. Then I'm going to scroll down and then I'm going to click on continue. Okay, so here we are been asked to you know if we want to configure google analytics for a firebase project okay so yeah you can take um crash free users report you can um check her uh, free or limited reporting and all of that so um we don't need this for this uh purpose so we are going to uncheck this gear icon right there okay so we are going to uncheck it and then we are going to go ahead and click on create project. All right, so we, we are going to wait right now for this uh, Firebase project to be created. And then I'm going to show you what to do next. Okay, so our new project has been ready or your new project is ready. So I'm gonna click on continue button. Okay, so we are now in a Firebase dashboard. So what we are going to do right now is that we are going to click on this gear icon right there. All right, so here we are going to click on users, users and permission. All right, click on users and permission. So here we have our project settings. So on the project settings, we are going to add a member. All right, so that member will have the um, privilege to be able to modify our Firebase project. So I'm going to click on add member. All right, so for the email address, I'm going to type firebase, firebase at flutterflow.io. Okay, so this is the email that we are going to add, um, firebase at flutterflow.io. Okay. So we are going to click on editor and then we are going to click on done. 
All right. So finally, I'm going to click on add member. Okay, so we are going to do one more thing. So we have added Firebase, um, sorry, we have added Flutter Flow. We've added Flutter Flow um, as an editor. That's the Firebase at Flutter Flow email as an editor. So what we are going to do next is that we are going to um, add more rope. So we are going to click on Advanced Permission Settings. Okay, so now what we are going to do is that we are going to search for that email that we just added, which is the Firebase at Flutterflow.io. We are going to search for it, which is this one right here. So we are, um, we are going to click on Edit Principle. Okay, so for this, we are going to add another row. All right, so now the um rule that we are going to add is um i'm going to click on this right here and then i'm going to search for cloud function admin okay so i'm going to click on cloud function admin okay so next i'm going to add one more um rule so i'm going to click on this then I'm going to click on it again. And then here yeah, I'm going to type service, service account user. Okay, so I'm going to click on this. All right, so we have added two more um, rule. Okay, we have added two more rule. So what I'm going to do right now is that I'm going to click on save. All right, so what I'm going to do right now is that uh, we are done with this, okay? We are, we are done with this. So what I'm going to do right now is that I'm going to, okay? So I'm going to close this. I'm going to close this, we are done with that. All right, so we are back here in our Firebase um, dashboard, okay? So what I'm going to do right now um, is that I'm going to at, I'm going to create a database, though we don't need it for this project, okay? But we might need it later, all right? So we might need it later. So um, I'm going to create a Firebase as um, I'm going to create a database. But before I do that, in case you might want to use um, some, you know, custom um, functions and all of that, so you can just click here, okay? You just click on functions. And then in this aspect, all right, so you would need to upgrade projects or click on Firestore database. All right, so next I'm going to click on create database. We are going to you know use this default um cloud firestore location. So I'm going to click on next. All right, so um because we are you know creating a demo video, so I'm not going to use um starting production mode. So um I'm going to click on you know start in test mode but you should do that if you're you know making a life or going into um production okay so i'm going to use um start in test mode for the purpose of this um project so i'm going to click on enable
Okay, so now our database has been created. So we will need to do one more thing. Um, if I take you back to um, Flutter Flow, you will discover that we need our project ID to be able to connect Flutter Flow to Firebase. Okay, um, now I'm going to go back to Firebase. Okay, so I'm going to click on this gear icon again. All right, then I'm going to click on project settings. All right, so on the project settings, this is our project ID. Okay, so we are going to copy this project ID. So we are going to copy this project ID. Then we are going to go back to um, Flutter Flow. So here we are going to paste this uh, project ID. We are going to paste it right there. That's our project ID. Then we are going to click on Connect. Okay, so we have this check marked and we have um, something here that is um, success. Okay, so we have been able to connect our Flutter Flow um, project to Firebase. Okay, so we are going to do one more thing. Um, we are going to, you know, auto generate config files. Okay, I'm going to click on this button auto generate config file. Sorry, my screen is, is a little bit small. So there are some two buttons down there. One is cancel, then the other one is generate file. F so I'm going to, you know, use my tab key to navigate there. And then I'm going to hit the enter key for you. Once, if your screen is large enough, you can see that button. Just click on generate files. Okay. So we are going to, you know, wait for it to complete generating config files. Okay, so what see we have generated the, the um, config file and you can see the check mark. All right, so from Firebase to Flutter Flow, uh, checked. All right, so now that we have been able to, um, you know, um, get a project ID from Firebase and we have been able to connect our Flutter Flow um, to Firebase. So what we are going to do now is that we are going to you know, from the app settings, I'm going to scroll down. Okay. So from the app setting like this, I'm going to scroll down. I'm going to scroll down. I'm going to scroll down. Then I'm going to click on push notification. All right. So for this, what I'm going to do now is just to click on this enable push notification. All right. So since um, this app is not um, for production um, purpose, it's just for testing. So I'm not going to click on this right now. So you should just go ahead and click on enable push notification. Okay. So you can just see all of the form right there where you can, you know, test um, um, the, the push notification okay you can just go ahead and test it and you know do the necessary configuration all right so guys this is how to um integrate push notification in your flutter flow project